Can you imagine going to a restaurant and you take off that wool coat, bam, and then on the inside? <sighs> Hello, you guys. The Doc is Hope here, and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully, you're doing well. So today, I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I'm going to be sewing. Uh, for the rest of December and probably the first part of January. So I'm very excited about that. Um, I have some very nice patterns as well as some great fabrics that I want to go over with you guys. So definitely get ready for this video. And if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure to do that. Click that subscribe button so that we can continue to hang out. I do so much enjoy hanging out with you guys. All right, so without further ado, let's get into this video. I'm a girl on a budget, so I like to try to sew like four to five things per month. Uh, so that breaks down to like one thing a week or one point two, five things per week. Um, so I, you know, pick four patterns or five patterns that I already have, or I go get some new ones if I'm interested in making something else. And then I go to the fabric store just once a month and I pick up everything that I'm going to need to sew those patterns so that I'm set for the entire month. So let me get our first pattern. Okay. <laughs> so this is my first pattern for the month of December, I guess, is this like super cute coat, right? Um, I'm going to sew view A, and I love belt so much that even though view A doesn't have a belt, I'm gonna try to make the belt from view C, because <laughs> why not? I mean, the pattern piece is in there, so if you want a belt, add a belt, right? So I'm hoping that I have enough fabric to uh, make the belt. And I'm just so excited about the uh, lines of this coat. It's just so like feminine and like a, it's like a dress coat, which I don't have. Um, and then like the, the pleating here and let's see. Yeah, it's pleating on the back too. So I'm just really excited about this. I've never made a coat before. I've always been kind of intimidated about it. But this time I was like, we're gonna make the coat. You can do it. Take a deep breath, follow the directions. So, and this coat has a lining y'all, a whole lining. So um, I just hope it turns out good. So let me show you the fabric that I got for, for this coat. Hold on just a second. All right, so my favorite color is purple. And so when I saw this like eggplant, let's see, a little bit, eggplant, just deliciousness in the fabric store, I was like, yeah, I gotta get that. I need that fabric in my life. I need that coat in my wardrobe. And so yeah, this made it into the cart. Um, this is actually wool, so 100% wool. Um, usually I use like a wool blend, but um, they had it They had it for a good price. Um, I think this one was, let's see, $12 a yard for this wool. So I was like, oh yeah, come on, come home with me. Love me, let me hug you. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I did. Um, so I'm very, very excited to make this coat with this fabric and yeah, I'll let you guys know how that works out. Uh, so speaking of for my lining, I searched and searched cause I didn't really want to do like the traditional, um, polyester lining or I think like acetate lining. Uh, I wanted something like warmer, like thicker, and then I wanted something with a print just to give the coat a little bit of interest on the inside. Uh, so y'all, brace yourselves. <laughs> well, let me brace myself rather. <laughs> I got this, <sighs> look at that, satin. 
satin. Okay, so this is black and then it's got like a cream circle pattern on it. Can you imagine walking down the street, going to a restaurant and you take off that wool coat, bam. And then on the inside, well, I've imagined it. And let me tell you, I'm here for it all day long. So <laughs> that's my lining. Um, I, I, I can't wait to make this coat. I think it's like 13 pattern pieces. I don't know. It's probably going to take a couple weeks, but <sighs> I'm so excited about it. All right, guys. So my next pattern is, oh, so I went over this one in my um, patterns, must have patterns for fall. So go check that out if you haven't, but I'm sewing the skirt, I'm sewing the skirt. Can you see the skirt? Yes, there we go. So it's an A-line and then it's got buttons down the side. Excited about this. Um, what did I, yeah. Yeah, so I decided for this skirt, I'm going to use this brown corduroy. Look at that. Oh, corduroy. When I was a kid, y'all, I had corduroy pants. I had corduroy overalls. It seemed like everything was corduroy back in the day, and I hated it. I was like, oh my gosh. Why do I have to wear corduroy all the time? But now, I'm like, it's just so beautiful. I love it. And this brown color, um, oh, I'm just excited about making that skirt with those buttons down the side. It's going to be warm with this thicker fabric. And I'm going to wear it with some cute boots. And I just can't wait. So this fabric, um, I actually... I uh, live in Atlanta, so I went to a place called Gale Fabrics, um, which is amazing. <laughs> People often compare it to uh, the mood um, in New York. They say that it's the mood of Atlanta. So there you go. You go in there and it's literally bolts and 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 bolts of fabric, um, zippers. Their special occasion section is just amazing to die for um buttons every color button you could imagine um gosh i mean they just have so much stuff in that store so i i spend a good amount of time looking through everything to see what i like and, and find what i really really want because why would you want to make something that you're not going to wear or that you're not going to love so i want to love it and i pick the fabrics that i love so i love so this fabric was $8 a yard, and it's a cotton corduroy, so I'm excited about that. All right, guys, next up, I have sat on this pattern for months, at least six months, um, because I was, I was scared to sew it because this, they give it the description of uh, difficulty level. And it's like, I don't know if you can see that. You see that? Uh-oh, maybe right here. So it's got like three and a half out of five difficulty. And I was like, I don't know, girl. Are you ready for that? I don't know if you're ready. So I hesitated and I waited and I said, no. Put on your big girl pants and sew the pattern. So again, like the coat, I will take it step by step and I'm going to make it. I'm going to get there. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about this one. This is from Lander and this is True, wait, it's a Lander pant, excuse me, and it's from True Bias. Um, I got it online, I think through Etsy. But let's see, you can, there's a short pattern, there's a shorter pants, and then there's a longer pants. I'm gonna make the longer ones because I'm tall and I need the length in my life. Um, so yeah, 
definitely excited about that. Let me show you my fabric. I hope that you guys can see the print and the texture of this. This is like a, a navy blue. Um, and this is a cotton peak. Peak. PK. Peak. I'm gonna edit that later. Um, can you, can you, oh yeah, that, yeah, I think you can see. Look at that, oh, that texture. I love texture, and especially in solid color fabrics, because to me, it just adds an extra element. Either you're gonna have a print, or you're gonna have a solid with a little bit of texture, just to give you that, mm, that extra little something. So, this is what I'm gonna make those pants out of. I'm so excited. Um, and then you see this button front right here. I'm thinking of like, maybe like a cream colored button just to give it a little, you know. Okay, I hope y'all can go with me on that. Um, and it's high-waisted, ooh, love it. And it's like a boot cut. Okay, so I'm gonna make these pants. Um, doesn't she look happy wearing those pants? Look at her. But I'm going to, um, I got lining. You needed lining for the pockets. So I thought this was just the cutest. Can y'all see that? There we go. It's like a pinstripe lining. So it's like a blue, red, white, very classic, very clean. Um, and I thought that that would just be very, very nice in these pants. So that's my pocket lining. I got that fabric, uh, the cotton peak, cotton pique for $10 a yard. Uh, and the lining was $4 a yard. So I didn't think that was too bad. All right, you guys, next pattern. Okay, so <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys are on Instagram, but for the month of December, there's this um, account called So Your View, So Your View. And they put out every month a pattern that, you know, you can sew your own view. So pick like A, B, or C, whichever one. And then you post a picture and then they'll repost your um, project on their site on Instagram. So I have not done it, never done it. And I just look every month and I'm like, oh, it's so cute. It, oh, you know, all these things. But this month I said, okay, I don't know if you guys have noticed, I'm trying to push myself. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to come on out of the comfort zone just a little bit and it, it's uncomfortable. That's what coming out of the comfort zone will do to you. But how can you grow if you don't push yourself, right? So here's the pattern. I know y'all are like, where's the pattern? What, what does it look like? There's the pattern, boom. So December, the month of holidays, Christmas parties, you know, New Year's Eve, etc. This dress, like a dressy occasion, special occasion dress. I am going to make view B, um, I thought, looking at this, that it was um, a woven fabric, but no, it says moderate stretch knits. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, it's a knit. That's interesting. So let me show you my fabric. And excuse the bag you're gonna hear because it's got glitter on it. <laughs> I like sparkle, especially for holiday. So I'm gonna leave it in the bag, but I'm gonna pull out just a little taste for you to see. Um, just the goodness of that. And I don't even know if the camera will like capture just how nice this bag, look, look at the stretch. Okay, so this is like a, it looks like a cheetah print and it's black and gold and then it's got like gold um, glittery flecks on it. So, um, it's gonna sparkle. It's gonna sparkle like a Christmas tree, y'all. And um, 
I'm just so excited to sew this. I know I'm gonna have glitter all over everything in my sewing room, um, but that's okay. That's what vacuum cleaners are for. That's what dusters are for. But this dress, I can't wait to finish it, to do it. Um, I think it's gonna be really nice. So, I may not get glitter all over the place. All right, guys. So my last pattern is actually not for me. How about that? <laughs> my son, um, he's 16, and he has been wanting a bomber jacket. I made one for my husband, um, and my, my son was like, where's my jacket, Mom? Where's my jacket? And I was like, okay, it's coming. It's coming. So it's coming. All right. So I'm going to make him view C with no hood. Um, I love this pattern. I've made it twice before, so I really like it. Love how it turns out. Love the fit of it. Let me show you the fabric. Okay. So, teenage boy, right? Um, army fatigue. Absolutely. Um, black and white and gray. I think he'll really like it. I hope he really likes it. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's the fabric. Um, I did pay, let's see, $8 a yard for that. Oh, for the dress that I, the dress fabric, I, I had a moment in the fabric store. That one came in at $20 a yard. Um, and I felt bad cause the man who worked there, it was like on the top shelf. And so I couldn't see the price and I was like, hey, can you get that down for me? And he was like, yeah. And the, the bolts are like super long. And so he's like pulling it and taking down other bolts. And it was a whole ordeal. It took him out about 10 minutes to get that fabric down. And I looked at that price and I was like, oh, he worked so hard to get it. And I love it so Okay, so every now and then, <laughs> I guess you should splurge on some fabric. Um, I, I, I rationalized it like this. I said, okay, how much would you pay for this dress in the store? How much is the fabric that you're going to sew the dress? And I said, okay, all right, we're okay, we're good. So that's the story with that. Anyway, back to my son's fabric, um, $8 a yard. And then uh, the lining of that one, I found this. I have been looking for like a quilted uh, lining forever. Maybe it was too hot for it to be carried, but y'all, again, I'm gonna take it out because I don't wanna get stuff everywhere. But look at that. Can y'all see the quilting? Can you look at that quilting? And then look at that, it's like insulation on the other side. So I was like, okay. It doesn't get extremely cold in Georgia other than like first part of November and then February for some reason, it's like bone chillingly cold, maybe into January. So I thought this will keep him warm um, and he'll love it. And I love, I love that quilted lining on the inside. So I've never sewn with that before. Hopefully my, my sewing machine can handle it. But yeah, so that's it, you guys. Um, that's what I'll be sewing for the next month or so. Um, hopefully um, you guys love these patterns. If you want to pick them up, uh, again, pick them up on sale. Um, I used to pay full price for patterns and then I was like, what pattern sales oh snap so y'all check out your local joanne mailer check that out um and see when their pattern sales are go get them then you'll save so much money on your patterns and um yeah so, all right you guys so hopefully and you all enjoyed this video as always i enjoy putting it together for you um definitely come back and see me. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up below. And if you have not subscribed to my channel,
click that subscribe button so that we can continue to hang out together. Um, and hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of your day. All right, until next time, I'll see you later.